So one parcel is one newton per meter square. So if you write newton per meter square or either parcel, both will be correct. Both are unit of pressure. And parcel is a name because it is who kind of recover pressure and the uh, same it is given in the same. That is parcel. Now then these are the different units of pressure. The different units of pressure is parcel. These are the values of pressure depending on in like comparing the other values when we compare the pressure when the atmospheric pressure is one what will be the other values of other units of pressure so these are just for now we don't have to remember these values just remember that these different names so that in future if I refer all these units it should be clear to you people that this are the thing I'm talking about is pressure and these things are units of pressure first is Pascal as I've already told you Another one is kilopascal. Kilopascal is like pascal, but when you have more amount of pressure, then we refer it as kilopascal. Other one is atmospheric pressure. Pressure of the atmosphere. So atmospheric pressure or we can write ATM. That is also a unit of pressure. We write it as ATM. Another one is millimeter of mercury. Now why do we write millimeter of mercury? Because there is a device known as barometer. Barometer measures the atmospheric pressure. In the parameter, mercury is kept, and there is a length in the parameter where we can read the readings, like uh, how much millimeter or centimeter it has increased. So that parameter, read the parameter in terms of millimeter of mercury. The mercury has rise up to which level or which millimeter of length. Another one is inches of mercury. Inches of mercury is also similar to millimeters of mercury. Another one is torr, which is another unit of pressure, and the last one is pound per square inch. So this, all of these are the units of pressure. Now, uh, factors affecting pressure. Now, there are different factors which affect the pressure. Uh, as I have told you, pressure is force per unit area. So, two factors from the definition itself we can understand. It's either force or it should be either area. Both the factors, if force is more, pressure will always be more. And if force is less, pressure will be less. Second thing is area. In these two diagrams, we'll discuss about that. So, assume in this both diagram, force is the same. We have equal amount of force in both the diagrams. Now, in this one, just compare the area of this box over here. This has got larger area, this has got smaller area. So, when we have got larger area, the equation is force is pressure is equals to force per area. So, it is inversely proportional. It means that if the area is greater, if the area is greater, then there will be smaller force exerting in that area. So, force will, sorry, if area is greater, pressure will decrease. Overall, if area is smaller, if area becomes smaller, the pressure will increase. Just the similar example is example of a knife. If they have a very sharp knife, that means the area of that knife will be very less, so it can exert more pressure. If the knife is not sharp, then the area will be large, pressure will be less. That means that is another example. So in this situation, over your area is large, pressure becomes less, that is no pressure. In this one, area is small, pressure is more, you have a greater pressure. So this is one of the examples, these are the factors. Now how to increase pressure? First of all, to increase the pressure, either we have to increase the force or we can decrease the area. Make the area smaller, pressure will automatically increase. Second thing is, how to decrease pressure? If you want to decrease the pressure, what you have to do is you have to increase the area. So in both the situations, you can uh, increase or decrease the area depending upon how do you want the pressure to be. Either you want the pressure to be very huge or very small. Depending on that, you can change the pressure either by decreasing the area or by decreasing the area. Or you can in by increasing the force or by decreasing the all these things are mentioned in your book in page number 79. You can make a note of it. The factors which increases the area, factor which decreases the area, 
an example of all these things because you might have your own example or you can think of different examples as well. So, in the next class, we will study about in detail of factors affecting the pressure in fluids, so especially in fluids. This was just the basic of the chapter. This was for today. Thank you.